Welcome, Dark Warriors. This is Rumen. I recommend buying Devastator until you have at I least 10. You want 10 Devastator, definitely, for this next part. I recommend going, to the, recommend going to the Quick Select Wheel and putting the Hollow Guys on the wheel. You press Square, you get turned back into Ratchet. You press Circle, you get turned back to Hollow Guys. And then you press Circle again to Wave. Oh, isn't that interesting? Oh, so it looks a little bit like Clank, don't it? That's right, we're going to be taking head on what Clank was meant to be. Oh my gosh. Okay, there. The sentry guards can be kind of tough if they actually detect you because they shoot these fast projectiles at you that are actually kind of hard to avoid. So whenever you see a green spot like this on the ground, it means you want to be hesitant. You want to turn to the hollow guys here. You want to wave at the guard. The guard will dispel this cool looking yellow barrier and then you want to hit that guard before he presses that button right there. When he presses the button, a bunch of red projectiles will sprout out of the pods in the ground and they will start hitting you. There they are. Th those are little pods, or turrets, whatever you want to call them. You do not want the sentry guards to hit those buttons, no. There's a sentry guard there. You can run up to him, or you can hit him with the Viz bomb. Either works. Alright, now, even though there's a green spot on the ground, there's actually no sentry guard behind this one, interestingly enough. But there are a lot of sentry guards right around this corner here look at that that is dastardly all right there's a bomb there we go yep that's all there is to it just kill the sentry guards before they get to any red button that happens to be on their path all right now we start slow shimmying Ratchet, Ratchet's shimmying speed when he's on ledges is always really slow, and it never really gets any faster throughout the entire series. Except for in Ratchet 2016, his shimmying speed was sped up a lot in, in that specific game. So, be sure to get used to this. It's funny, in Ratchet and Clank 2, I think there's only one or, or two spots in the entire game where you shimmy. Alright, wave at that guard there. We will dispel the barrier, and oh my gosh, look at all these guards. Oh my gosh, scary. But we can just get out. The blaster can take care of these guys really quick. There we go. The, the, the first shot of the blaster, well, well, not, well, not the first shot, but like one of the shots of the blaster will actually stagger the sentry bots and prevent them from running towards the button. All right, Devastator. Oh my gosh. No, Devastator. Oh my God, I was too slow. This is this is what I'm talking about. You don't want those to shoot at you. Yeah, this spot, th th this part does not have to be that stealthy or fast enough. Like, you don't have to turn to the, the, the hollow guys that often if you kill the sentry guards before they get to any button. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's possible to beat this game without ever turning into a sentry, not not a sentry bot, in, in, into the hollow guys, unless you want to dispel those barriers. So if you're really good, you can, you can quickly turn into a sentry bot, I mean, hollow guys, wave, dispel a barrier, and then do the whole, and, and then do the rest without turning into the hollow guys. But I'm not going to try to show that off. Alright, sentry bot there. Look at that. That is what Clank is. Clank is a defect of one of them. How about that? Three guards over there. You want to get out the Devastator. Shoot, shoot. And then shoot. Alright, there, there you have it. Yeah, if you don't shoot those guys the Devastator, you have to, like, jump over this while they're turning around. And then, like, right here, you need to, like, turn to the Hollow Guys, and you like, wait for them to turn around again. And they have, like, jump over here and then turn to the Hollow Guys again. And it's just kind of tedious, but you can just shoot him like that, so you don't have to waste your time. Got a big fan there on the ceiling. All right, hollow guys. Any over here? Yes, there is. There's one there, and there should be, yeah, there should be more coming out of those openings there. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Devastator there. I'm going to aim my Devastator at this wall here, so I can shoot that, that, that one right as it comes out. And then that one right as it comes out. All right. Swing shot. There you have it. Gonna run over here and collect all these bolts. Also, you can destroy a lot of 
stuff on this planet, so you can destroy this and this. They don't give you any bolts, though, for some reason. I mean, they give you, like, some, but but not all of them do. Then we can run all the way over here for some more bolts. Also, look at that. You can see one of those giant mechs being built here. That is cool. Like, it's interesting. Like, this is, it's like, this is, like, what Clank was to become. Come. Clank is a defected sentry bot. He, he's a defected... Also, it's kind of, like, poetic, because these sentry bots guard Drex Fortress. They, they're they they're guardians, and Clank is a defect of one of them, and Clank's purpose in this game is to guard the the, the galaxy from Drex plan, so there's kind of some poetic symmetry there, in a way. Ooze on the ground there. Dark green sky. Alright. Gotta slam on that button there. Alright. I think I think you got a hollow guys here. I think there's a yellow barrier behind this wall. My memory serves correctly. Yellow barrier? Yes, there is. All right. Wave at that guard there. All right, wait for him to wave back. He'll dispel the barrier. Uh, nope. Blaster. There we go. Blaster works just as well as the Devastator. The Devastator has a lot more range than the Blaster. But the Blaster has a faster rate of fire. All right. Cool looking room here. It, it's funny. It, it looks like a boss room, doesn't it? But it's not a boss room. That should do it. Mom? Oh, brother. I tried, Mom. I know. Hey, look! A sister! My fellow blog, our synthetic world is now fully functional and ready for habitation. However, there is one small obstacle in our way. This pathetic lump of a planet. Due to some blunder of fate, it happens to occupy the galaxy's most perfect orbit. But no more. Behold, the Deplanetizer! The most powerful laser ever created! Soon, we'll move the Deplanetizer into place just above the planet's surface. I will, of course, be on hand to press the button that will blow this mud ball to smithereens. No one will even miss it. See you then! Ratchet? Are you all right? He is going to pay! Excuse me? It shouldn't have taken me this long to see it! Drek is going to find out what happens when you mess with my home! What are you smiling at? This is the ratchet I always knew was there. Okay, if we're gonna do this, we need to get on the Drex ship. And then we can find out where he set up that laser. I will try to make you proud, Mom. That's such a good cutscene. I never understood why Ratchet had to. Why Ratchet says like now we now we have to go and get on a ship so we can find out where he set up that laser. Even though in that cutscene it's so obvious that his laser is right next to Veldin. Like Ratchet should know where it is. Also, yeah, Drek totally lying. Dre Drek said that that planet had the most perfect orbit. Nah, Drek just wants to get back at Ratchet. So, yeah, evil, evil. It'd be cool if there was like a gold bolt over here, but there's not. Look, it's Clank's ma. <coughs> Excuse me, ma. <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm trying not to cough this entire time. Yeah, I haven't uploaded for a few days because I haven't been able to commentate without coughing. So I thought I might as well wait till I can commentate without coughing till I make a new episode. And there I go. Oh boy. Anyway, <laughs> next up we actually have one of my favorite levels. Which, which I know sounds crazy, because, like, really, this is one of your favorite levels? Yes, it is. All right, Drex Fleet, let's go. We're going to blast off in our cool badass ship. Got some character development there for both our characters. We saw Clank there talking to his mom. We saw what Clank was supposed to be, but what Clank didn't become in the Sentry Bots there. It's all poetic. It's all beautiful. I love the story in this game. Drex Fleet. Oh, boy. All right. Okay, I'm just going to say this right now. This is the hardest skill point in the game. Okay. Alright, next up, next time we'll be trying to do what is, in my opinion, by far the hardest skill point in the entire game. 
and it's the hardest skill point in the game by far. Like, none of them even compared to this one. All right, save your game, and thanks you for watching, Dark Warriors.